The fuck? Hello? Yeah. I don't hear nothing. Welcome to, to the broadcast. Welcome, welcome to the broadcast. Yo, welcome to the broadcast. Welcome to the broadcast. Yo, did you ever check out the podcast with the bros? They got nice ass. Yeah, and they fuck with asses. They like girls with low or high classes. You better understand with the blue eyes, brown eyes, the brown hair, the blonde hair. I don't even care, man. Stop. It's hammer time. Just Jet, kidding, bitch. Jim, it's fucking bro bro time. Because we in a bro cast. We going so fast. And then you know that our boners at freaking full mass. And we about to go in on these freaking yep. rhymes. And every girl that we ever have sex with is straight up dime. I don't give a frick because I'm going to drink a 40. Get me lubed up like WD-40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that was sick as fuck. That was whatever. That w- we yeah, just do we that. Are, it does not a big deal. That's okay. Hey, hey, act like we always do that. Play cool. It's yeah, cool. we always. That was do chilling. That. It's always. That I cool. don't give a fuck about that. Um, so we are preparing next week uh, for a huge like uh, taste test uh, competition where we're going to be tasting different wings from different places and trying to guess which place it is with our eyes closed. I've been prepping my butthole because I get fucking spicy shits real bad, dude. So I've been like trying to not eat any spicy shit at all because my asshole is going to get fucking ripped the fuck up when I do when I finally do the wing challenge. Wait, we're doing you don't wings. Use the, my invention? But you know those things I have in the freezer? They look like cocks. The ice, yeah, the ice pops. No, they're called childos. What about it? What? When you have anything beyond blazing. One sec, one sec. Go! Wait, now belch. Broadcast. <laughs> that was fucking sick, bro. Uh, Damn. Well, when you have anything beyond a certain Scoville level, you're going to need a chill though. Hi, I'm Seth. I have a patented product called the Childo. It's patented as fuck? It's patented as fuck. I have a hookup. My uncle, he is in the sex industry, sex toy industry. So I have Uncle Lars? Cast. Uncle Lars. Bro, he gets fucking tanked with us. So like- he has the cast that Sick. they pour the dildo epoxy into or whatever the fuck those cocks are made of. Dope. I took one of those casts. Yeah. I put water in it uh-huh. as a joke and put it in the freezer. It, I, I end up with what I call a Childo. And that's what I use when I eat too much spicy food. Yo, the fact that you fucking invented something, like not only invented it, but you fucking went through and did prototypes and shit um, <laughs> before the fucking, uh, to the factories. Yeah, yeah. A yeah, prototype. So that way they fucking know the type and then they can fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got fucking sh- I fucking smoked right before this, and I swear I got the worst fucking cotton mouth of my life, dude. Do I look blazed? When you do that, yeah. Am I high? No, when you do that, you look... Am I high? When you do that, you look like you're geeked. You're gacked. All right. We got to talk about the Patreon. Oh, I was going to talk about the com- the hot, hot wing competition, but yeah, you're right. Well, I mean, what's more important? Us getting rich as fuck or... Beating wings. Patreon yeah. bonus <laughs> episodes. Here's the thing. We're starting a fucking Patreon. Patreon. We're going to engage with you on there. We're going to give you extra content. We're going to answer your questions in the, in the episodes of this. Yeah. Please go to the link in the thing. If I was bisexual, I'd have sex with all of you. He fucking would, dude. This dude plows like if I've ever seen anybody fucking plow. It's fucking him. I've walked in on him. I go to fucking before. war for the pussy. Yeah. Because I don't uh, want to say the word. But I'll he, say it. I go to war for the pussy. Go to war for the pussy. Yep. Yeah. I go to war for the pussy. Yeah. I go triple mode on a nipple, bro. And I don't give a fuck because I do it double. When I fuck, I put a bitch under the rubble. That's right. I put her in the grave. He and I'm like, awesome powers said, oh, behave. Oh, <laughs> bro, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, listen, listen, give me a beat. Yeah, 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 
yeah, yeah, Jessica, I think I'm better than you now, I don't need you, hun, I think it's all going south, look at me, Damien, coming up with the broadcast, fitting me in, cause you know I got that nice ass, and that nice boobs, and a nice face, and you know I'm getting freaking, re- freaking raised, up, in a chair, from my derriere, listen, do you remember the first time you saw a vagina ever, whether it was in media, TV, magazine, your mom's? Science class, third grade. Science really? books. Yeah, the fifth grade books. I fucking went in uh, Mrs. Clinter's uh, room. It is like the name lunch. of a woman that would teach about vagina, I feel like. You literally had the same teacher as me. We're in the same ass grade. Of course, it sounds like a, a teacher because it was our teacher. Miss Clinter is. Miss Clint. Because like, that would be funny. All right. Mrs. Mrs. Clinter. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I would um, never suck a dick unless I had to save your fucking life. Like if a snake bit the head of your dick and I had to suck the venom out and swallow it and be like, uh, I would do it for you. Yeah, but like, why'd you go there? What do you mean? Dude. Hey, I love you, bro. You're my fucking brother, dude. And I'd fucking die for you. And I want you to be open about your fucking emotions. Because the more fucking open you are about your shit, the more fucking real this connection becomes, dude. Just just, just fucking be real. All right? All right. This is the T. You ready? Yeah. Hit me. So mine was my mom's. You saw your mom's puss? Hated it. That's you a- spit probably 10 times. Run that back. Play a replay, editor, of all the times you spit. It's There's literally spit me editing. The XLR. There's spit over there. There's this spit on the Xbox XLR. controller. This is all my shit that I fucking... I, I put it all together. You're breaking protocol. I fucking... You know I have a thing where I forget if I'm outside or inside. I've had that fucking thing since I was a kid. I literally piss and shit outside or inside like it's camping. He was I fucking forget. He was raising a barn. I was. They fucking kept me in a barn when I was a little ass kid. This when dude they were building can't tell the, the difference mansion. between goat poop and actual blueberries. Yeah, but I don't see the fucking difference, dude. What is that? Shut up! It's my least favorite pair. Because, yeah, I like tits. That's a paramedics right there. You know, that's why I'm in a better paramedics. mood immediately because of that joke. That's fucking funny, dude. Thank you. Like, But if you think about it, though, like... This might trip you the fuck out, but inside ambulance, what is there? Two medics. It's a paramedics. And I just realized that. That's a fucking first in the world and first in the broadcast. Can we get a paramedics over here? That's what that what means. The fuck, there's always two, too. I always figure well, out. Not two, two, like, like a fucking ballet dumb, dumbass shit. Two as well. Yeah, I would yeah, Damn. I would never wear a tutu. Holy shit. I fucking hate tutus. I'd wear a tutu to save your life, just like I would suck out the venom. I wouldn't to help you. I can to no, fucking save my life. You wouldn't wear a tutu and no, suck my cock. No, like no hate, no like judgment, no like regrets, and no hard feelings. I wouldn't do that. It's just not me. I just wouldn't feel like it. Sorry. But it's literally for my life, though. Like we couldn't fucking kick it anymore. Weekends and weeks. Yeah, but think it would so affect boring. me for the rest of my life. Yeah, and it would affect me for the rest of my fucking life too, because my life wouldn't exist anymore. It would kill me. It would kill me, dude. Are you fucking not getting this? I wouldn't be able to live it down. So it's similar. I just don't like girly shit. I would fucking. And I don't like little kid not, stuff, bro. Like little kid shows and dumb shit like that. I'm gonna have a bullet in my skull, dude, and I'll be fucking perished on the ground, bleeding out, going, Oh, Seth, you could have fucking saved my ass. Would you fuck the Statue of Liberty if you were the same size? If it was a human, yeah, I'm not gonna fuck a metal ass statue. You don't think she's human? She's based off a real chick, right? Like, the, she had weird ass hair. Like what that, are right? those? The Liberty. It's her sports. hair. That's not her hair. Yeah. It's like a crown or no, something. No, she's a fucking punk. She's a punk rocker. She has that fucking hair. Oh. She's punk. wanna be an American idiot. New York City with a statue of liberty. What a sight as a fight. That was sick. Um, 
Ah, oh, smells good. Yeah. We got to chill until the weekend, though. We're fucking staying sober for the week. Um, all right, guys. We got to wrap this shit. Okay, that that's fucking fine because you're drinking it, but you're not. You're spitting it back it's out. It's like wine tasting. Yeah, that's chill. Do you fuck with the brocast? Do you fuck with Seth and Damien talking about real ass bro shit that you fucking create deeper bro ships with your homies? Do you fuck with humanity? Do you fuck with world peace? Do you fuck with supporting your brothers and sisters? Do you fuck with uh, live ass shows where you get to watch shit happen in fucking person? Not a joke. Straight up five feet away. Five feet. Literally, you could be within inches of us if you got called on stage, which is a real thing that could happen, too. And when my fucking dick gets hard. Five inches? No, it's going to be double five inches because, you know, I got a 10 inch fucking cock. I don't really. I, I, bro, say I just want to leave that shit in though, because that's sick as fuck. Eight inch is not enough for me. I hate having eight, eight inches. It sucks having a big dick that big, but like it with those ten. Anyway, we're doing a fucking lot. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> Wait, let me try. Stop, stop, stop. I gotta stop, dude. I almost Put had a fucking... Outside. Bro, I know. It's confusing. I almost had an accident. Fuck, Wait, dude. an accident. Like, what? it's your ass. Accident. That's how you say it. Accident. But it's because your ass. Like, accident, but ass. Yeah, it's my ass, but then... Yeah, I almost had an accident. But anyway, you can check out live broadcast June 24th, uh, 2022. That's this year. Um, at... Uh, 6468 Santa Monica Boulevard at my cousin Blake Rozier's five days with Till Blake the sun show. comes up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Cheryl Crow. Yo, she, that's Cheryl Crow, right? Yeah. She's hot as fuck, even still. If it makes you happy, that is if it makes you happy, if it makes you happy, oh, oh don't spray the camera. Oh, shit. Fuck. Shit. Dude, Lars is going to be not chill about that. If it makes you happy, then it can't be that bad. If it makes you happy. Oh, 